Imagine you're a teenager in the 1990s and you're playing a video game, for example, Super Mario Bros. Now back then, video gaming graphics used to be terrible. You knew you were playing a video game and you could tell that the world in which the game is set is in 2D, while the real world is in 3D. However, as computers got more and more advanced, we've now reached a stage where virtual reality, this new magical thing of the 21st century, can now blur the boundaries between what's real and what's fake. But what if, all this time, we've believed to be in control, to control our decisions, our lives, everything, when in reality, we're the ones being controlled? Is the universe a simulation? What is reality? This question really delves deep into both philosophy as well as some aspects of science. Our perception of reality, what we perceive to be everything we know and everything we need to know, has been expanding ever since human civilization first formed around 12,000 years ago. Initially, Europeans thought that their respective regions was reality, and that there was no more. However, slowly this reality began to encapsulate the entire Earth. From here, we then looked outwards towards the stars, first from our solar system, to other solar systems, to the Milky Way, to other galaxies, and eventually to the entire observable universe. But this reality begins to blur when we consider the technology we have built. We now have good enough technology such that we can simulate worlds on our own computers, and even entire universes. Why? Well, it's because we want to understand about the world by simulating the same conditions of our world in our supercomputers. There may be a point in the future where not only can we simulate the entire universe, but we can also simulate conscious beings within this simulated universe who have a sense of free will. But what if that's already happened to us already? What if we're in a simulation? This hypothesis might sound dumb, but it's actually something that philosophers are taking seriously and was first published by Nick Bostrom under the title, Are You Living in a Computer Simulation? An advanced alien civilization might have created such a simulation, this virtual universe, to understand more about their ancestors and their evolution in the simulated universe. But why have this idea? Why even consider such an idea in the first place? Well, the idea of a simulated universe, or rather simulated reality, has been discussed by philosophers all the way back to the time of ancient Greece by philosophers such as Plato, Chinese and Indian philosophers also both considered the indistinguishability of dreams from reality, as both seemed to be equally real. You might be thinking that this might be a bit of a stretch and that we can't actually simulate the complexity of the universe on a computer. And while that is true due to quantum mechanics and the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, we can simulate complex behavior from relatively simple instructions and we don't have to simulate every single atom or proton or elementary particle, we can get away with simulating chunks of atoms or chunks of molecules and creating this very detailed simulated universe. The idea of complex behavior arising from simple instructions is the idea behind cellular automatons, the most famous being the game of life. And now that quantum computers have truly made their entry, this distinction between the simulated world and the real world will become increasingly difficult. We do want to cover this in more detail over the next couple of videos, so make sure to subscribe. And speaking of advanced aliens, you know how there's been a lot of news going around lately about UFOs? Well, NASA is finally taking this idea seriously. And to learn more about how the US government has studied about these sightings in the past, just click the video you see on your screen.